everyone, we're going to sketch the curve whose parametric equations are given, show the orientation, and find the Cartesian equation of the curve. And uh, our interval is from negative 2 to 2. So first, let's graph this by substituting in uh, our values starting at t equal negative 2. So when you substitute in negative 2 uh, for x, you're going to get negative 3, and y is going to be negative 7. So at negative 3, which is here, there it's going to go right there. So that's where we're starting. Now at negative 1, uh, our x is going to be negative 2, and our y is 0. Make a straighter line this time. Okay, so then we're going here. So the movement is going uh, starting down here, and we're moving up this way. So there's your orientation there. All right, at 0, we're going to get uh, negative 1, comma 1. So that's going to be right there. So we're going through here. And then at 1, we're going 0, uh, and then y will be 2. So there's that. So it's going to be a little uh, swing this way. And then at 2, we're going to get 1, comma 9. So there's your 1 and 9. So we swing up this way. All right, so your orientation is like this. All right, and next we have to uh, find the Car Cartesian equation of the um, curve. So let's do that. Uh, we're gonna we know that y equals t cubed plus one. So I'm going to solve for t here. T is going to equal x plus 1. So just substitute in your t here. So you're going to get y equals x plus 1 cubed plus 1. I'm going to use this expansion here, um, binomial expansion, and this is going to give you x cubed plus uh, 3x squared plus 3x plus 1, and then you have uh, this additional plus 1. So this is going to equal um, y equals x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 2. And now um, with that, our interval will be from negative 3 to 1. For example, we'd have to write uh, x belongs to the interval negative 3 to 1. All right, thank you. Um, I also put this here if you want to um, screenshot this. All of these formulas and stuff are on my Facebook page. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.